one who's driving us to bring all these stories to the forefront and Family Man is yet another example of it. And so I think as long as we consistently listen to her, pay attention to her tastes and preferences and are able to convert that into stories that they uh, hopefully a lot of people care about, I think you know, we'll be in a good place. And, and today we are here to celebrate the Family Man, which is, which is really getting the kind of love that um, we're very grateful for. It's a constellation of stars. I mean, starting from the creators, Raj and DK, who've always had such a unique voice when it comes to storytelling, to the cast, led by Manoj, um, to the crew, um, to the story, to the fact that it has every single element that middle class India can relate to. We seek our thrills. We deal with the trials and tribulations as family. Right? And most importantly, I think it shines a light on society in a way that is meaningful and funny. Mm. For all these reasons, I think the family man is here to stay. And uh, I'm just so happy that I got a small chance to be a part of this journey. You know, I'm sure that the audience, they're not saying much at this point, but I'm sure that everyone resonates the same sentiment that you have spoken of. Um, uh, thank you, Ajay. Thank you, Vijay, for your insights, your inputs. Please do, 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 do stay on stage. Please stay with me for a few more moments. Don't leave so soon. Uh, it gives me immense pleasure to call upon stage our next guest. Um, Vijay had given a little bit of a precursor. Um, I'm talking about the dynamic creators of The Family Man. This dynamic duo needs no introduction. There's already applause backstage. So they obviously don't need any introduction. And, you know, their signature style is amalgamating real life storytelling very seamlessly with um, satirical humor. And I know you'd, you're nodding, so you do agree. So, okay, no more introductions. Let's just put our hands together and welcome the powerhouse that we know as Raj and DK. <laughs> experience um, yeah the, they said one thing before I went on the stage in, uh, in the in LA they said don't expect people to react they're not gonna applaud they're not gonna smile they're not gonna ask you any questions so they're going to be very pretty dry and boring so that's how it is when you go to this event so we're like oh shit so me and uh, uh, three of us were had discussed questions amongst ourselves saying that we'll ask each other so that it won't go dry for half an hour, right? So we went, went up and played the trailer and some of them had seen the first two episodes. So immediately after the trailer, the questions went to them and we were like, thank God, we don't have to do this ourselves. So that was a really nice experience that there was a lot of curiosity and excitement about the show. And uh, even though it was, I think, the first Indian show to be presented as part of an international show. So everything else was an English uh, based uh, English drama, English uh, shows. This was only a uh, Hindi one. From and India. it was great that it was received in the same level as everything else. And kudos to Amazon for putting their muscle behind it and actually thinking that this is their top shows to be presented to the Critics Association. I think that calls for an applause, doesn't it? Okay, uh, DK, my next question is, is to you. What made you decide to be part of a series? Because you've been making films. So what, what was it that went in favor? Okay, uh, <clears throat> good question actually. This, uh, this concept of the family man was something that we've had, we had in our minds, we had kind of, sorry. Yeah. We, ha we kind of had this concept for a few years before uh, we started making it. And we always knew that this character was so special and also the geopolitics, the story, the subject that we were trying to say uh, was, uh, was one of its kind. And, but we also knew that it was a story and the character that kept giving. So we knew we wouldn't be able to do justice to it in a two-hour film format. So we held on to the story. We, I mean, I'm not lying when I say we were holding on to the story to wait for someone like an Amazon to come into the scene in India so that we could showcase it on a, an, on a best plot platform available. And so as soon as like the first footprints of Amazon came into India, I mean, we had a few meetings and we signed on then, but we had a few films to finish before that right. and then we started making it. 
So, so it, it was all one of our together. concepts that we had way before uh, that we knew we were going to make it for a series format. And uh, how is it working with the team at Prime Video? It's been fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it, seriously. I mean, this has been one of the greatest experiences. I mean, they're all such cool people. They're open-minded. And, and, and uh, honestly, also, the, as a medium, it allows for a lot more experimentation than a conventional film would allow to. And uh, I mean, I can understand if film studios are, can have a little more restrictions about what you can say, what you cannot say, and how right. you say it, uh, as opposed to a platform like this and a company like Amazon who, you know, they're like, you know what, if you like it, if this is working for you, go ahead and do it. You, usually you don't hear that from filmmakers. Yeah. That's but true. It was, it was really good, uh, really great experience with Amazon and uh, we continue to do a lot of stuff with them. Shrikant Tiwari ji, you start with Yes, yes. So the family man marks your digital debut. How easy was it? Was it a transition? Did you have to deliberate, consider or were you ready from the get-go? I mean, um, <clears throat> yes, I mean, there, was, there was a long wait uh, before, you know, I came across uh, this subject and this, this script, which, was, which came from amazing duo, <laughs> Raj and DK. Uh, <clears throat> so I didn't have to think much about them. I mean, it was coming from them, so I was quite excited to hear it out. Uh, but twenty minutes of uh, synopsis and, you know, somewhere emotionally and mentally, I was ready to get into this. But before this, you know, I had… Uh, uh, I had a chance of uh, going through many scripts and so I was uh, uh, looking for something very new, something, something quite real and relatable, f uh, not only for this country, some, something that the entire uh, world, you know, could… Something for a global yeah, audience. Yeah, global audience. And this was, this was a fantastic, fantastic subject uh, where I could just, you know, take a plunge into without even thinking about it. Uh, you know, the tagline does talk, talk about a middle class guy who's also a world class spy. So obviously there's that balance that one has to strike. So in your real life, any problems with striking a balance? Like your real character in the family I think, man? I think each and every one of us who is sitting here, everyone has that difficulty, okay? <laughs> but we managed to do it. We, yeah. we managed to do it because, you know, somewhere in our mind, both the worlds are, you know, very, very important for our survival. Absolutely. for our ex existence. Family is very important, but the work and duty and your passion, you know, these are the things are also very important. The striking a balance, it takes a lot of uh, uh, effort from your side, but why, you know, the, the, if you make an effort because you love both the sides of your life, you know, that's why you make an effort. You don't make an effort for something which you don't like, which, which uh, somehow, you know, is of not of your interest. That these are the worlds which is very uh, important, you know, uh, for each and uh, every one of us. That's why we do it. Manoj, I have one more question for you. I was reading, um, I think DK's interview, one of his interviews online, and he says, you know, what if we also had a world-class spy? Would he look as cool on the streets of, for example, Chembur? So, Manoj, did you feel very cool when you were shooting the series? You see, I. Generally, I'm a cool guy. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> That's the answer I was looking for. I mean, who is cool? Cool is somebody who is, uh, you know, who believes in uh, a community, who believes in, uh, you know, fairness, justice, who believes in, in modern thinking and modern, modern approach. And I was getting a chance to work with very, you know, the coolest of the directors, you know, Raj and DK. So, I, and Amazon guys, I, you have not, I don't know whether you met them very closely or not. You guys are rock star, man. <laughs> a round of applause, please, for the entire Amazon team. And, yeah, Amazon team, I mean, the, the way they've been backing, uh, backing the project, Vijay and, and Parna and the entire team, I really thank you very much uh, in, in having that kind of a conviction in the project and really, you know, putting all your force behind uh, this, this product, which all of us, you know, so aggressively and emotionally believed in. Thank you so much, Manoj. Priyamani, my next question is for you. You've had stints in the, the film, uh, Hindi film industry with Ravan and in Chennai Express. Now you're doing a 10 series, um, a 10 episode series. So how was the experience? Is it very different from the experiences you've had in the South Indian film industry? I think a lot of my colleagues here from the South would agree with me that um, the platform is different, yes. 
the language is different but apart from that i think the shooting is pretty much the same uh, for me language is not a problem because i know hindi hindi was my second language in school but yes when compared to a film for me personally i would say we shot a little more faster a little bit faster than what we normally shoot in a film we shoot about 5 6 scenes a day maybe 7 scenes a day depending on the time and you know the location and things like that uh, but yeah personally for me apart from just shooting it faster i don't think anything else is that i think pretty much everything else is similar and how different is suchi or suchitra from the other characters that you've played oh she's a lot different um i've never played a character where um well yes bold and outgoing and outspoken yes that i have played in a lot of my films down south but here somebody who is the boss of the the the, the one who wears the pants in the house who runs the household uh, she's got she has to manage two kids she has to manage the entire household when shrikant is uh, half the time he's not at home uh, something like that i have not played and initially when the character was told to me by raj sir and dk sir i didn't know that i was a part of family man so i went back home and i was just talking to myself i said am i still do am i doing family man or am i not doing family man i mean i've got the brief of suchi but i don't know if i'm doing it i'm still confused so my husband came and he said listen if they've told you the character of suchitra that means you're doing suchitra so congratulations <laughs> you're on family man so don't even think twice about it so i said okay so yeah i'm on, finally i'm getting to do a wonderful project like the family man on a such a fantastic ott platform like amazon prime video coming in and fantastic directors like raj sir and dk sir directing the project obviously working with the family man manoj <laughs> sir i mean it's it's great it's i've had a lot of fun working on this show uh, thank you neeraj mahadev how is it sharing screen space with manoj first of all hi everyone i'm new to mumbai in case if you haven't recognized me i'm a terrorist that <laughs> i look very different i know so um i play musa rahman uh, a confused <laughs> terrorist i think and uh, um, this has been a great platform for me like uh, i predominantly work in the malayalam cinema and uh, i got a call from uh, the casting agency mukesh chabra and they wanted me to audition for a role in a web series for amazon prime uh, directed by rajan dk so you know uh, i wasn't uh, very sure of how important the part is how big it is so i just asked them can you have somebody brief me on what exactly it is i just want to know to get an idea so i was expecting a call from a an ad or a, a script assistant but one of the directors directly called me mr dk called me and he was like he was this is so and so he just briefed me the story in 20 minutes and i was blown away and lot of new things for me uh, new to the ott platform my hindi debut i am quite excited and uh, yeah to work with him oh my god <laughs> you know I'll, i'll i'll keep talking so maybe i'll talk about it later but it was it was a fantastic experience i knew priya we are friends we, we uh, i had a word with her about listen how how big is this and she's like i think it's pretty big you should do this <laughs> <laughs> that's and a she, lovely reaction so and you know it's but, big it's pretty big yeah so i was like i was still confused like how important is my part going to be so then i got invited for this the table read you know only the primary characters get invited for the table read so i was there with the team of amazon with uh, aparna and all these people and you know we were you know that's when i met him and you know i was like okay this is big so i was like and right now i think it is quite big see look at the the whole setup <laughs> it, it is big yeah thank you thank you neeraj good my my next question is for you What has been your experience working with Raj and DK? Um uh, Raj and DK are directors extraordinary and I think that cannot be said often enough. I enjoyed all their work before this and uh, when they reached out to me for this I think it was about 3 uh, minutes into the project into the project discussion that we realized we shared a very similar world view of things and that's about it and you know when you, you were sold on it then because of the people that they are and then i was like oh so can we talk about the character now because the moment i met them there was such incredible synergy in terms of the way we see the world and i think that is the backbone of any working 
professional relationship. I believe in personal relationship, but it is the backbone. So for me, that was fantastic. I get to play a part that I've wanted to play my entire career. So uh, I'm, I'm very, very, very excited. Mumbai Raftar News ki khabare pasand aane par, hamari YouTube channel ko subscribe kare aur like kare.